But I'll do anyway. I think it's good. Oh, buttery smooth. Cool. Right, thank god that's fixed. So yeah, as I was saying, the Dreamcast one is actually a better quality version. It came out a year after the one that I was playing yesterday. And it has controller support, because it's a Dreamcast copy, so... dick around with changing keyboard settings or anything dumb. I get to apply a widescreen hack to it and I've also applied like a load of HD textures. So this should be the best experience. There you'll see like the black bars that get added to the top um, are added by the game to like mimic a cinema effect. So the emulator will draw the sides in, which you wouldn't normally get. So yeah, uh, this is where we got to in yesterday's game. I got back into the citadel. And then we got to this door here. So yeah, um, I basically played the whole game again, but on Dreamcast so that I would be at the same point. So this is exactly where we picked up last time. Soul Reaver on the doors. King. The Abyss has been unkind. I am your creation, King. Now, as before, you criticize your own work. What have you done with my clan, degenerate? You have no right. What I have made, I can also destroy, child. Damn you, Cain! You are not God! This act of genocide is unconscionable! Conscience? You dare to speak to me of conscience? Only when you have felt the full gravity of choice should you dare question my judgment. Your life span is a flicker compared to the mass of doubt and regret that I have borne since Mortanius first turned me from the light. To know that the fate of the world hangs dependent on the advisedness of my every deed. Can you even begin to conceive what action you would take in my position? I would choose integrity, Cain. <laughs> Look around you, Raziel. See what has become of our empire. Witness the end of an age. The clans scattered to the corners of Nosgoth. This place has outlasted its usefulness. As have you. As have you. The Soul Reaver, Cain's ancient blade, older than any of us and a thousand times more deadly. The legends claimed that the blade was possessed and thrived by devouring the souls of its victims. For all our bravado, we knew what it meant when Cain drew the Soul Reaver in anger. It meant you were dead. Oh shit! Dick. So yeah, if he zaps you, you're dead. Oh, 
course there would be a wraith there. Understand the game that Kane was playing, but I knew the finishing move. From this moment and ever afterwards, you and this blade are inextricably bound. Soul Reaver and Reaver of Souls, your destinies are intertwined. By destroying the sword, you have liberated it from its corporeal prison and restored it to its true form, a radiant blade, its energy unbound. No longer a physical blade, it can only manifest itself in the material realm when your strength is fully restored. Once manifest, it will sustain you. What are you, little soul? Another of Cain's creatures come to taunt this bound specter. I did not intend to disturb your rest. Rest? A body is needed for sleep. Flesh and bones are required to recline. No, child. All I may do is watch and remember, ceaselessly conscious as this wretched world's history unfurls. Ghastly past, insufferable future, are they one and the same? Am I always here? How have you come to haunt these pillars? Cain refused the sacrifice. The pillar of balance, corrupted to its core, stands as a monument to his blind ambition. Now these pillars serve only to bind me here my prison and eternal home, thanks to the avarice of your master, Cain. That bastard can claim no allegiance from me. Then we share a common foe, Raziel. Return here when you have need. Ariel remembers what others have forgotten. Cool, so now we have a base of operations. So, let's, let's just talk to Ariel. So. Far in the eastern mountains, a stifled titan stands in mute surrender, unwilling host to a parasitic swarm. So is she telling us the next uh, vampire to go after? Uh, we get our magic topped up and our health topped up. So yeah, the blade that we just got is like ridiculously OP. Um, and as they said, as now I'm in the material realm, this thing sticks around uh, and unlike before where my health just went down gradually over time it will just stay at max level now until I get hit
need to do a bit of backtracking now. I love this Dreamcast version, it makes like all the colours look so much better, like much more green when you're in this area. Zephon's keep lies far to the east, beyond the ruins that greeted your first exit from the underworld. He and his brood have cocooned themselves in a derelict cathedral, having murdered its human guardians. Story break. So I need to go back to like where that point was um, that I came out of the underworld, like you said. So let's go back the route that we came. ability to phase grant me access to the next area so. I just need to find a place to phase back or to shift back even Kill this one with with a weapon of some sort. Oh, 
Pale him up there. And I got my sword back. thing. what should have happened to Friday. Once a testament to mankind's defiance of Cain's empire, this towering cathedral now stood derelict. The humans who worshipped here, dead for centuries. Its architects conceived this tower as a holy weapon against the vampire menace, a colossal instrument of brass and stone. The cathedral's pipes, once tuned to blast a deadly hymn, now stood silent, and these vacant spaces whistled their impotence. See again, this this level would have been incredible to come back and visit in the future games. It's convenient of the pipes.
Messy. So, yeah, unfortunately now I've lost my Soul Reaver and my health is going to degrade again. Um, it's kind of a good idea to kill another vampire and absorb its soul rather quick. So... It's going to be like 10 times more difficult to fight them without Soul Reaver, so it's just... Let's just fuck it up. Shit. Click, 
click. Nice. That should open up like a little ledge or something, I think. Yeah, spider vampires, like the worst. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, you dick. They're humans, so I'm gonna leave them be. Fuck off and let me get the fucking pipe off the wall. against here so I can get the top one off. This one is a corner piece so that needs to go. section there. That one's a straight through, so that one's going there.
There's one switch unlocked. them alone. They'll attack me for now, but because if I leave them alone, they'll, uh, they'll build a rapport with me and lift people to my shit. You, my friend. Fledglings as well, they're like little ninjas. What's this one? It's a straight through pipe. Managed to pick up this game yet? It's looking crispy now. Yeah, I, um, I actually completely uninstalled the PC version. I put uh, the Dreamcast emulator on instead, and then that lets you put in a load of HD textures. And yeah, full agree, it's like so much better this way. I don't stream, it'll run in 4K, but unfortunately if I stream, it looks shit. <laughs> or it doesn't even run, it just like, shits its pants. Whoa. Just teleported me on top.
So yeah, if you said, I think you said you were going to pick this game up at some point. I highly recommend you get the Dreamcast version. And it won't cost you anything if you get the, uh, the naughty emulator. texture pack looks great. The colours have definitely changed. It's a lot more green in the oops, this spectral realm. It's a bit more earthy in the material realm. Kind of looked a bit washed out before. Like they, they dulled some of the colours and stuff. That's what happens. Bong. Spectral shift. And it's still open. Oh. 
<laughs> Just threw it at him. Those switches were. Now he thinks I'm a saviour. That's why you leave the humans alone. They love you. I think they got rid of that mechanic in the second one. It's quite annoying. You have a lot more interaction with the humans as well. Activation points must be in here. for them.
long backtrack just to get a portal thing. I do love this level for the fact you just like basically rebuild the citadel. go back first and uh, do the other one because that little tube thing is supposed to spit out a load of air. Switch maybe. Yeah. 
get some actual good hits on them. this time. Do a quick shift into the spectrum room than it is to like fanning around with no help. Would you fucking stop that? Especially now. So it's stop hustling me. I should get some height now. Is there only one is there only one pipe?
the fuck? Just like flew around the room. Maybe I did miss something. I need to climb ability first. Maybe I still just have to kill these. Hey, on. <laughs> oh, you absolute dick. used to be like some other section that in. That should be it. Unless maybe I just have to shut the door again. That was 
ですね Must be in there, that's the only fucking bit with an organ. Matters. Certain the way forward is up there. It's not like unless you have to turn some of these off. need them all on.
for like some random oddity or something like this gets distorted in the wrong room. Was that open before? Gonna chill. Alright, you stay up there and stay out of my way. Oi. So come down and fight. Stay up there. Back. I should be able to drag this over to the spinny wheel. Mm. I swear they used to make like a god awful noise. Really? Stop in front of them. Let's get some more light in here. I'm just gonna get pipe first.
Da, 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 da. <laughs> Get the fuck down. Uh... Would have been so good in one of these games if you uh, restored his wings. properly. One of them, the other one runs away. He uses his bravery. Should be Zephon's lair now. If I recall, he's a bit of a bastard. Oh, is this the big boy? Space. The prodigal son. There is no returning for you, Raziel. Zephon, your visage becomes you. It's an appropriate reflection of your soul. And you are not his handsome Raziel anymore. His precious firstborn son turned betrayer. You have missed so many changes, little Raziel. Look around you. 
See how the human's weapon of destruction has become my home. Indeed, my body. A cocoon of brick and granite from which to watch a pupating world. A crevice in which to cower, only scuttling from the shadows to devour a victim already ensnared in your cowardly trap. But you've made the mistake of leaving me unbound, and it is you who must succumb to my will. Will, instinct, reflex action. The insect mind finds little difference. I warn you, brother. As my stature has grown, so it is matched by my appetite. Step forward, Morsel. He's gonna eat me. So my my retreat is blocked by this giant sphincter. Eggs. Bit so, like, even though you technically killed me, here I am, bitch. bestowed on you a new gift. Like his vampire spawn, you are able to scale certain walls which are otherwise impassable, but only in the physical realm. In the spirit world, these insubstantial edifices will not support you. Get ready. See his head. Where is Nom? In the mountains beyond the pillars, Nosgoth's cataclysms have exposed an ancient crime. Endowed with Zephon's soul, you may now progress where your path was hitherto impeded. Where your path was hitherto impeded. Tell you what, as a kid, you definitely learned some new vocabulary playing this game. Uh, 
reason we're coming back here. Because I basically want to be where I was at the outside of that. Um, no, I don't. I can go back. So if we, if we go back out of the dungeon the normal way, as opposed to teleporting out. Basically, because we've got the climbing ability now from eating a Spider Man. Um, there's a few things you can pick up here, so might as well grab them while we're here. places you can climb, so... stuff there. I'd just be outside going nuts. Well, that 
Oh, I need fucking telekinesis for that. Hey, Brian. Yeah, this is made by the exact same people. Crystal Dynamics. Such a good game. It's like one of my favourites, without a shadow of a doubt. You have the game in your cupboard. Still in the plastic. Oh, nice. <laughs> I've got like one of the early copies of it. It's got like a lithographic, um, like a holograph display. Quite proud of that. And yeah, as you like turn the case around, it uh, switches from the, the material to spectral realm on the cover. Looks awesome. Got it for five euro, holy hell. Remember in Tomb Raider there's a cheat to get the soul reaper. Yes, it's also uh, the reward for completing all the secrets. It replaces the Excalibur. Yeah, I was hoping once I've done this, um, if, I, if I ever do Legend, I was going to try and get the Soul Reaver. Uh, where's the thing? Actually, I need. I wanted to check the moat out. So there's any shit in here. Managed to get the game for five euros, that's so good. Shum. Got a heart container. <laughs> There's a few other places I can climb as well. human citadel now, I think. Or do I need swimming for that?
get out. Okay, this is the human stronghold, and everyone worships me, which is good. Makes breaking in a lot easier. Just that bloke with the flamethrower won't kill me. Citadel, its towering walls and deep moats engineered to keep Nosgoth's vampire plague at bay. Though the city was well fortified against vampires, its human architects hadn't considered a breach by a creature such as myself. thinks I'm some kind of fucking god. Just just for playing like a, a pacifist. leads to like a back alley type thing and there's a, a teleport point that's just shit everywhere There is another thing in there though. That's not the thing I was after. Could have sworn it was like just here. This could be it. Yeah. So that lets me teleport. Let's save it there. And we'll end it there um, with another boss down.
and it just crashed. Fantastic. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Right. Yeah. And I'll see you for the next one. If that's not saved properly, I'll get back to that point for the next session. Ciao.